everyone. It is another day, another week. We are back for a fun lesson today. Today our lesson comes from the very beginning of the Bible. And although I am not uh, affiliated with this company, this is the Bible that our church is using. It is the Beginner's Bible. Um, you can find this uh, on Amazon if you are not a member of our church and not, don't already have one. Um, if you are a member of our church, let me know uh, if you don't have a copy of this Bible for your child and I can make sure to get you one uh, specifically for you. But today we're going to look at the very first story and that is the beginning. And it talks about how God created the earth and all that God created as a part of that, all the animals, all of the earth itself, all the water, the sun and the moon and the stars in the sky, all of it, God created it. Well, you know, how many of you have created something? If you ever created something, maybe you painted a picture, or maybe in art class you made a clay sculpture, or maybe with your mom or your dad you went out and picked up some leaves and put them between pieces of wax paper and you created an art project that way. Those are always fun projects to make, but did you know that anything worth creating takes some time? I know today we live in a world where we want everything to happen like lightning fast and super fast, but God took seven days to create the earth. Can you imagine that? Seven days that took a long time for God's creation to be so lovely. Have you ever created something that took some time? I have. I can tell you right now that there have been many things that have taken me weeks, months, maybe even years to make. I thought today I would show you something that I've created that takes me a long time to make. And many of the ladies in our church, and if you're not a member of our church, maybe many of the people at your church make blankets or prayer shawls to send to people who really just need to be surrounded by love. And so I made this beautiful blanket. It's just a lap blanket. It's not something that you would put on you at night for bedtime. It's what you would use when you're sitting in a chair, maybe watching TV, or maybe you would put it on your legs in church. Some people do that because it does kind of get cold sometimes at church. But this blanket took me probably five days to make, um, but I have other things to do, so it wasn't the whole five days. It was a couple hours each day making this, but it took me a while to make, and we all have those amazing things that sometimes take a little bit of time, and we forget that sometimes things that take us a long amount of time end up turning out to be pretty amazing and wonderful, just like God took a long time to make and everything was good it was lovely and so this week I want to challenge you to find something that you want to create or maybe sit down with your mom and dad and plan out something that you want to create and see how long it might take you but always remember that no matter what you're doing your creation is going to be good and even if it doesn't turn out the way that you want it to that's a wonderful to opportunity to learn how you might do it differently in the future. When I do these quilts and afghans, I've done so many of them that if there's an issue with the pattern or if I don't really like the way that it looks, I can take it out and I can fix it and redo it in such a way that makes me feel good about it. But at the same time, I didn't waste that time, I learned something special. And I am very thankful to be here with you all today. If you would like to share your photos with us, please uh, come to our Facebook page. We are the First Presbyterian Church of Westerville. Uh, we are on Facebook and share your pictures with us. I'd love to see all of your lovely creations. That's it for today, we'll see y'all later.